In Dongying, East China's Shandong province, a hostage rescue training exercise is underway. The police unit is quickly deployed to surround the mob. Negotiations have broken down. A rioter is about to pull the trigger, but the bullet from the Chinese sniper gets him first. Such crisis resolution could become an everyday occurrence for the Chinese peacekeepers. The team belongs to the China Standby Peacekeeping Police Force, which was founded in 2016 following the country's decision to join the new United Nations Peacekeeping Capability Readiness System. China's Peacekeeping Police Force is stepping up its training in preparation for an upcoming assessment by UN officials. The UN's advisory and assessment visit for peacekeeping police is different from that for peacekeeping troops and civilian forces. It's a comprehensive assessment and selection of all personnel. To date, China has dispatched 13 peacekeeping police forces abroad. Eight were sent to Haiti and five to Liberia. But that's not all. Since 1990, the Chinese military has participated in 24 UN peacekeeping operations, dispatching more than 40,000 personnel. 13 Chinese soldiers have been killed on these missions. There's no war in China, but still Chinese soldiers are making the ultimate sacrifice. By taking part in international peacekeeping missions, China is demonstrating its commitment to global security. It's also contributing to the creation of a shared future for mankind.